You're just gonna shoot Sal with that fucking cannon right off the Oh, bed. why not? Maybe no, why not? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. okay, well. Here's the way this is gonna go down. He's clearly uh, gonna be at least roll for initiative. There's, there's a reason Dan stood behind the lamppost over there. No need to roll for initiative because we don't have to worry about that. A lot of very bad things are gonna happen at once. Oh, like I said, there's a reason Dan stood All right. over there. So I'm gonna driving. need your uh, I'm gonna need your dexterity plus firearms. I'm trying to think in the new system, was there bonus for any bonuses for Towards fire? the damage. Power of the blood. Okay. If you want more, yeah, if you want bonus dice, you're going to have to burn blood, blood surge for it. And we can burn how much for one? One. Roll. It depends on your blood potency. What is your blood potency two. on your sheet? Two. Blood potency of two, blood surge is add two die. Okay. All right. You do have to rouse check for it. That's fine. Six successes? Mm hmm. Holy shit. There you go. It shows oh no! That's a history. Whoa! Book. Wow! Okay. Sal dies. So. <laughs> no, no. Uh, He's not uh, smiling. Uh, that sort of thing. For those of uh, those so, of those out in Radio Land, <laughs> I rolled zero successes for Salvador. Oh, also, uh, no crit okay. fails. <laughs> Yeah, no crit fails, but zero, uh, zero successes. That's Those okay. of you in the front row will get wet, Hattie. <laughs> um, as uh, Salvador's head explodes. It's not gone, but a large chunk of it is just gone. And he falls to his knees and, because and hits the ground. Know how this shit goes. He's still twitching. What do I roll to Because I know that? how this shit goes. When you roll to animate the chunk, there's nothing to animate. Just in you case. You shot him too good. It, it, there's like a chunk of his head missing. This, it, it's eerily similar to the night they made you when you took out that premisine. It's very eerily similar to that. Yeah. He's on the ground. And as I said, a very large chunk of his head. But he hasn't ashed. So he has not ashed. He's I'm gonna shoot him in the heart a couple of times just to make sure. I don't see a need to test at this point. Um, he's not gonna fight back. And it's point blank. Um, and it's point blank. The echoing of this gun is it's like it's like thunder every time it goes off. Very loud, very large gun. This is, uh, for those of you who need a visual aid, this is the same gun that like Rick, Rick Grimes uses in Walking Dead. It's that big pistol that he has. Yeah. Called Anaconda. The big brother of the python. The, his back just explodes on impact when the bullets hit <laughs> and his skin quickly starts to shrivel and fall off and a partially putrid fleshed skeleton in a tracksuit is all that's left and the sounds of tires screeching huh? as Sunny Red is bolting <laughs> out of the New Orleans district. <laughs> you been scared him. But <laughs> see how lucky he is. Nope. Oh. Oh, just Not have very. to explain to Sunny how he now works for me. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. 
with the amount of wraiths that are viciously there, suddenly the car stops. It hits something. For those of you with Sense the Unseen, a very large group of wraiths have given themselves to the physical damage of getting hit by a car. Those of you who can see it, watching a wraith get hit by a car looks exactly like watching a person get hit by a car. Except they start to slowly suck themselves back together. The driver's side door gets thrown clear. It gets ripped off with a disgusting moan, metal creaking, and goes flying into a wall of a local business. The screaming from Sonny is halted as, again, those of you who sense the unseen, watch the wraiths reach down his throat and rip him apart from the inside out. Sunny Red, it's all that's left, is a red stain on the ground and various pieces of his body that are being dragged in different directions down into the sewer through the storm drains. Seemingly of their own accord for those of you who do not have sense of the unseen. <laughs> oh boy. That could have gone worse. You are sprayed. Better. Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to spray. Whistler. Dan's just still over there behind the lamp post eyes about like saucers <laughs> from all this. You just got get cool points with both, you know? <laughs> Whistler, uh. Can I go back to the shop now? Killed him. Especially you want me to talk about Similar. You can get changed. Thank you. To another event. Please come back. Whistler walks over to you. I would have preferred it not to go like that. I understand. But he wasn't going to listen. But I do believe that this makes you the head of the Putinesca family in the area. It does. Learn from Sal and don't do what he did. You don't fuck with family. This isn't the first time Sal did something like this. Amen. Whistler will offer you his hand. Mm. Nice firm grip. He will shake your hand. I'll have to reach out to uh, the milliner girl and uh, explain that she was no longer under Sal's employment. I'm sure she'll be relieved by that. (laughs) In the meantime, I believe we still need to make preparations. Whistler puts his finger up, shushing you. A bit of a sense of eeriness really is going to come about as Whistler is going to activate Cloak the Gathering on all of you. Because people are starting to look out. The people who live in the New Orleans district are going to see what the commotion was. The multiple gunshots. The uh... squealing tires. (laughs) The squealing tires. The stains that were Sonny and Salvador. Now, it looks like an incredibly impossible car accident occurred. (laughs) But Whistler is going to beckon you back to his shop silently. It's actually kind of interesting, too, because... He grabs onto the front door, and where you would expect that dragon's breath to go off, no sound comes from it whatsoever. At around this point in time, there's a surge of doctors running down the hallway, talking about how they may have to prep one of the ORs. That there was apparently reports of multiple gunshots and a fatal car accident in the New Orleans district. Is that doctor still in the room? He's nearby, but he's not, like, standing over you. By this point in time, Tommy has come back. He's calmer now. Looks okay. like he might have fed when he walked away. I'm going to try and talk to yonder doctor. <laughs> he's, 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 where is he exactly? 
You can find him. It's not hard. Well, is he like in the in, in vicinity, or is he out making rounds or something? He's making rounds. Oh, okay, cool. Then I don't. Then I don't need to worry about him too much. There's really not much that they can do other than keep him comfortable. Oh, you're gonna pull the curtain. Tommy pulls the curtain. Try the cabinet. It's probably locked. What are you doing? There's a me- there's typically a supply cabinet in any one of these rooms. Yeah. Where they keep all the fun little pokey bits. I've never noticed those cabinets to be locked. Yeah, it depends. I out of out of game. I work on the ones that are electronically locked. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in enough hospitals and dunked through the cabinets to know that a lot of them are not locked, however, because a lot of the times the doctors... There's significant tape in, in areas where the person is under, like, watch because of medical emergency, they it can't also take matters the time. what they have on stock, because the ones with opiates aren't. That's true. You're not going to find <laughs> any of those drugs here. You're looking at... Fantastic. You're looking at standard... Like towels and, and stuff like that. What are you looking for? I'm looking for syringes. Syringes? There are, uh, there is a small plastic bin that has individually wrapped syringes in them. Good. I need a lure lock syringe. What are you doing, Gramps? <sighs> Playing God like some people do. And I'm going to stab myself in the neck. Before you stab yourself, Tommy, should I do this? Maybe not. My blood's, Your blood's thick, remember? Yeah. That's it's a good thing. Do you want John Moon in our, after you for a year and a day? I'm just saying that we don't even know if that's going to work with you. Guess we're about to find out. They're saying he might not make it. Just lock it on to the IV and drive it in. Okay. Within five minutes. Did you inject it directly into him or into his... I imagine he's got an IV. Yes. That's why I went for a lure lock syringe. So you withdraw, take the needle off, lock it in, drive it in the IV. All right. Just checking. Within about... I just got to hold this right here for a bit. There's better places. Tommy will get you a band-aid. Thanks. Within five minutes or so, uh, Johnny's eyes start twitching. He starts showing more activity. His machines start making all kinds of fun noises. And eventually the doctor comes in. Pretty, pretty quickly, actually. He goes over and starts looking at all the machines. He starts reading the chart. Um, little paper that's coming out monitoring and, and recording the brain activity and, and everything that's going on and he looks directly at you what did you do? <laughs> you were hiding something the moment I came in here what did you do? Cocaine. Okay. <laughs> maybe I was about to hit my vape I've got a card how's your patient doing? if we find anything in the system you will be held accountable and he goes right back to so at this point in time you're probably capable to arrive. I mean, am I though? Do you not want to? No, I don't know. I mean, it's I guess. You. I mean, yeah, I probably arrived you, by now. You all, as players, okay. always have the option of I'm going back to coffin. <laughs> or okay. I'm going back to. I'm going back. No, I'm arriving. <laughs> what happened? Where, happen to where you. are you arriving? <laughs> I guess I was heading to the top hat. Okay. I mean, that's where I told Daniela to. Put very me true. Food. Very true. So. Um, when you get down there it is yeah. eerily quiet you've never seen it this dead yeah this um, is weird by now um, Alba already has closed up the shop yeah I mean I um, sk- went by it I guess and it looked close there's police everywhere there's police. bystanders caution tape. there's <laughs> caution tape there's there's locals who live in the area who are standing around a car that seems to have hit something um the car door can is can i even get in there like if i'm in a car you can or was this a major intersection that has everything blocked it was towards it, it was it was further along back okay um 
you can see where the door to the car got ripped off and thrown against the wall. Um, and there are two distinct groupings of people. I do want to point out that before everybody ran off and did anything, uh -huh. the Whistler bleeds on Salvador, Sal's body. Like what's left of it. Oh, I would have done that myself. Would you have done it yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay. So he bleeds on Sal's him. body and it disintegrates into nothing. The incident over by the car, however, is a little bit worse because they shredded him. The body is gone, but there's definitely some stains and there's a lot of people just, what the hell is going on? There's also a news crew and people taking statements from the people who want to be known as witnesses, even though nobody actually saw anything that was going on. So how do you handle a situation where there's this large group of people? Nope! And I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are you noping to now? Send a text to that one person. Okay. And just like... Looks like some things have gone down near home. Um, I'm gonna go back to your place. What kind of things? Um, better in person? News? By the time you get cleaned up and changed and everything, the, the crowd has already started to gather. This okay. is what happens when yeah. wraiths are put to guard. So arriving, or being at Top Hat, the sirens are audible. At this point in time, there's a lot of commotion going on in the streets. It's a very interesting setup, considering the fact that the trails of blood from the car are leading into several different gutters, <laughs> going down into different drainage areas, different draining areas. So it looks like the body was ripped apart and dragged into the sewer in different areas. We have to get rid of something quickly. Would you like some help? How are we going to keep the humans out from going into the sewers to find out what happened? Text, would you like some help? While there are 300 shambling hordes down there. Oh, shit. Wow. They need a body is what they need. Any volunteers? For what? Again? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. We need a body quickly. Fine. Got it. People think all black girls look the same anyway. What? You're going to be the body? Why not? I get myself out. Yeah, the locals you know you. We have nobody that can... We have nobody you can what? Have a little age or something. Or like, I don't even know what happens to these people. What about Mr. Broom? Huh? The, guy that you, the guys you got Benny. for sweet Oh, the, yeah, that's it. We can use Benny. Yeah. Getting Benny out there without being noticed is going to be the hard part. He looks at you and but he's like, you're the obvious pick. <laughs> he, uh, he calls Benny, who slowly makes his way over to him. Pulls out a small jar, very small jar, uh, from his vest pocket. And he has Benny tilt his head back and open his mouth. And he pours the ashen contents from the bottle into its mouth, onto his tongue, and as soon as he shuts his mouth, Benny collapses onto the floor like a pile of sticks. We have to get him out there. Is there a storm drain that they aren't currently looking at? Hmm? If we can wedge him in there. Pretty much text. <laughs> <laughs> yes, him. no, because, because it makes the most sense. Wedge That's why they haven't the found storm. him yet. Yeah. Rock back and forth. For your trouble. It's a weird no facts in that. That's about the only thing they believe they as to why they haven't found the body food, yet. That the body they has ended family. up someplace Nobody completely weird. It might be a good idea to put him in one of the storm drains from inside. Mm. Lorenzo. You helped me create the things that are down there. Would you mind? Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. I There's a manhole behind the store. I grab the body and I start. Right. He's a hefty guy. Like I he got, was, he was thin, but like he's got a lot of weight. I got potence. Okay, two levels. So, yeah. Open up the 
open up the uh, sewer grate or, or mm -hmm. manhole, whatever it is. And uh, I'll start climbing down. Now the shambling hordes are going to mess with me, I'm assuming, as I did create them. You created... Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. And, uh... And still looking completely freaked out. Oh, you see, Valentino. <laughs> question is, are they going to be near the store entrance? The way these... The manhole works is it goes directly down. Mm -hmm. And then there's a small tunnel that leads into the actual, like, sewer. Yeah. Passage. None of them are going into the little side tunnels that lead to the manholes because they would have to duck to do it. Gotcha. They don't have that mentality to duck to do it. So you get down there and you look down the five, six foot long passageway that you'd have to, to stoop down to fit into and you just see them moving around. They're just wandering through the shallow water. Okay. There's really no telling how this is going to go for you. Because you didn't make them all. Well, there's a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. and so hopefully if, if I get attacked by one, one of the others I did create. Depending on how you were pl uh, tr trying to interact with them, are you going to try to be kind to them or are you going to order them? Well, if I can avoid interaction with them, I will. You're not going to be able to. There's so many of them down here. Well, in that case, I, I'd rather not piss off a large amount of... Uh, okay. Uh, charisma so plus oblivion. It's a very odd test. No, it's <laughs> not in the books anywhere for those of you who wish to call me out later. Then I really you really play. only need one success. Um, Which is ironic is. because that is all I fucking got. Yeah. <laughs> they don't listen to you at first, but they will grudgingly like you can actually like they they don't do that. <laughs> they don't no. Come on, guys! I created that one. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they watch you. They eerily watch you. Like hungry animals, as you are carrying the other Food. one. In fact, the fact that you're carrying that one seems to be the main reason they're leaving you alone. So I'm going to look for a sewer drain that's, like, close mm -hmm. to where the accident is. Okay. But where I, I'm also looking for an area where I don't see like a bunch of shoes and people walking around. Okay. Well, tell you what, give me a um, wits plus streetwise to see if you can figure out where exactly you are. Because I've been down in the sewers and you can get turned around very easily. Oh, yes. That's why a lot of sewers have street signs in them. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Um, you can also look at a phone's map if you can get, get, a, and compare, get a signal. And compare it to where I'm at right now. I will allow you to win. At a cost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you can find where you need to go. It's hard to see those street signs that are underneath there because there's so many others down here. Due to the frustration, the heat of the moment, everything that's going on, the fact that you have this dead weight literally on your shoulders at the moment, you can find it, but you're going to piss one of them off. Almost over right in front of it. <laughs> or you can burn a willpower to re-roll three dice. I will burn that willpower. <laughs> and I got one more success out of that one. Three successes, it's exactly what you needed. So you are able to find the you're able to find a storm drain that's that hasn't really been noticed very well yet. Um and uh, getting them up there is not the most pleasant thing in the world. But you do have potence. Yes. I do not see a point in rolling because this is more of can you get your luggage in the overhead compartment situation than anything else. So 
how does everybody else act as Lorenzo is down in the sewers? Um, Valentina's not paying attention. He's just going to texting him. Okay. What do you text? Oh. Uh, pretty much at the beginning of it is like, I heard what happened. My condolences. Everything. Hope everything is getting better. Oh, I thought you had sent me a summary of what was going on. No. There. Oh, okay. That's why I was... If you asked, then yeah, he will ask. Oh, sent. that's why I was... Okay, well, I was, yeah, I would have asked. Yeah, how are things going on there? Turn this up. would be followed by the face palming. <laughs> turn, the news, uh, turn on the news. <laughs> There's no a TV in it. the room. Yeah, uh, we'll turn that on in a moment, but no one has ever said that, and it was a good thing. Duh. Turn on the news, and there is currently a live broadcast going on about how there was a report of several gunshots and then a car accident. Uh, it's actually assumed that it was a, a hit and run, uh, possibly a um, drive by that has taken an interesting turn. They show you footage of the damage to the car. It's effectively what happens or what it would look like if a car hit ran into a, a group of people but the car wasn't fast enough or strong enough to get through the group of people. There's also uh, very odd stains leading off into different directions and uh, can I get a wits plus uh, <laughs> awareness? Can I get that, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> this news broadcast will be playing when you arrive also. Okay. Ten. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I got one success. One. You're, you're fine. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very odd situation that's happening right now in the Nor in the New Orleans district. With this mysterious car crash, with the driver of the car not being found. Looks like y'all are having a wonderful night. <laughs> Where do I begin? Can I get one more <laughs> uh, charisma plus oblivion to get back? Time, though, did they? Ben is trying not so to why be could this be manipulation totally freaked plus out because she is totally oblivion. freaking so out. Right better now. roles for that. <laughs> Uh, then uh, you'd pretty much be texting saying like three successes. Okay. You're able to get back just fine. Okay. So while we're all sitting mm -hmm. in the top hat we hear the lid to the manhole cover clank into place. Good work. Oh, on the way back from the sewers, I would have texted uh, Janet Milliner. Uh, I don't think you're going to get any reception down there. Well, it'll it'll when you get, out. It'll, you get out. Well, it'll eventually send when you get out. That, that's true. That's true. But I can at least write out the text and hit send. Okay. Uh, we need to talk. I'll meet you at the car lot later. All right. But, uh, yeah heading back up as soon as I send it. Okay. Uh, he pretty much continued texting saying, would you, li uh, would you like me to go over there and help? Question mark. Free of charge. Then Where is there? Wherever you at. I'm at name of hospital? So. You're at a hospital. The one that didn't burn down. General <laughs> hospital. Portland General. Wait, no, that's the one that burned down. <laughs> <laughs> After he receives the, mess, uh, the, the, the address, he will pretty much just text, like, in capital letters, they touched family. Nobody fucking touches family. And pretty much just... They had to whistle and start going to his bike. Do you have somewhere to be? I'm uh, meeting up uh, our old friend. You're meeting up with an old friend? That's ominous. Right now, it's not a good idea to sound suspicious. With, old, with our old oh, friend. Oh, with the old friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure he's okay. If 
there's anything Paul needs, let him know that we're here to help. Same. Get on the bike. There's a Wikipedia Bolt out. page. List of hospitals in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get on the bike. Legacy so Emanuel. Legacy heading, Emanuel Hospital. Yeah. Start heading yeah. out. Then uh, after like one or two miles, after uh, getting off the uh, freaking district, bolt into the uh, towards the hospital. Okay. Well, we got one problem taken care of. Well, now we need to look into the others. Yes, we but. just need to make sure that you taking over Sal's position does not leave any type of a power vacuum. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to head over to Sal's car lot, see what's on his computer. I, I swear to God, I don't think the man was smart enough to password anything, but I can, pro I can check. If not, Janet knows a lot of the details of the businesses he was running and uh, effective immediately any Puneska contracts dealing with Camarilla members within the area is cancelled. If uh, for some reason you are unable to get into his computer at all Whistler will reach into his pocket and pull out the ring the ruby ring that Sal always wore. Oh. We'll get the answers. <laughs> well, hopefully you won't have to come to that. I can only imagine how terrible Sal will be as a wraith. Yes, and him being contained might be important. That's true. In fact, you all can stay here as long as you want, but I have something to handle. And... He is going to turn to walk away. Unless anyone has anything to do to stop out. I'm not there. Dan was just going to ask at some point, I, what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> Sit down and eat. You got food in the bag. <laughs> Dan just saw two people get murdered. She's not used to this yet. <laughs> You'll be fine. Uh, you're not hungry? Fine. Was it murder? That, that was... Okay, yeah, it was murder. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of a show I roll my humanity. You killed a bounce. Yeah, right? I mean, well, you still would be taking stains at this point. Yeah, stains. So I mean, the roll will be at the end. you didn't break anything. Other than Sal. You didn't, <laughs> Sal. You didn't Sal break really anything. Sal really wasn't much of a... No, 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 no. no. Tenants. No. He's not an outsider. A... You demanded respect. B, you didn't kill an outsider. True. C, does Sal qualify as fully human? No. And you also were... You were also protecting keeping the family together, which Sal was actively not doing. So I don't feel I need to... Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, I, know, I thank I, you, I thank you for honest. doing that and all, but I, I really don't think that this is a situation where it's going to be a thing. Um, Sal, you're fine. Okay, cool. Uh, Whistler walks into what is a small broom closet towards the back, but um, when he walks in and hits the light switch and the sickly yellow light comes on he pull he opens another door inside of that one and then starts walking down a set of stairs he's not shutting the doors he's leaving them open so just do it yeah. um, everyone's thoughts Dan is really tempted Look down the stairs. If curiosity was a flaw, just yes, no, exactly. <laughs> well, I got things to do, and uh, if you, any of you, need to reach me, you all have my number. I'm, I'm sure uh, I do. I'm going to hand you my business card. It it just says uh, Lorenzo Putnesca Security Bodyguard and. Some of the more legal things he does. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and it has a phone number. Sticks in her pocket. Um, my phone number's gives her a phone number. No. Okay. If any of you need me, like I said, you know how to reach me. And I'm heading over to uh, my car lot. Yes. Hmm. Putin, the Putinesca Brothers car lot has changed hands yet again. Mm-hmm. So, Paul, mm-hmm. by this point in time, the flurry of doctors and nurses have left. Oh, over for the and No, no, no. The ones who came in because oh, of what was going to on. To check on his... John. Yeah. John is awake. He seems fine. He's a little lightheaded. Take it easy. He's, yeah, he's not trying. He tried to sit up and almost passed back out. But uh, at this point, it's you and John left in the room. Tommy stepped out to make a couple of phone calls. It's good to see you again. They just... They just came at me. There's been a lot of that going on, going around lately. What the hell's going on? The Camarilla is on particularly bad terms with the families at the moment. You know what they did to you, although I appreciate hearing Not really. Exactly. I don't really know what they did to me. I just know they were just on me all of a sudden. Do you know who? I don't... I remember I remember being in the back room and I was talking to Miss Roma and then it felt like I was being ripped apart just out of nowhere okay well, let me fill you in on a few details that I think you'll understand the significance of immediately. So apparently, they carted you in, uh, basically devoid of any blood, with no sign of a, of a puncture or cut on you anywhere. The same night, Anaroma had Rhino do this to me. Yeah. <clears throat> and the next morning. Apparently at the same time, I don't know if you know Danielle, uh, mm-hmm. apparently one of the local group, okay. um, was being worked over in a sewer and having a finger snipped by uh, McGraw. So there's a considerable amount of agitation going on. All right. <clears throat> All right, what do we do? He goes you're, to sit up. You're not doing anything for a minute. I feel fine. Like, I feel I feel fine. Like, I feel good. Yeah, but the last time you tried to stand up, stand, sit up like that, you looked like you were right about to fall. Yeah, over. but no, it's it's not... I don't think that's a problem anymore. Like, I feel fine. I feel good. That may be some side effects. What? Like, they pump me full of morphine or some shit like that? Because usually my nose is just... Mm. What? My nose is just when I get morphine. <laughs> it just yeah, sounds John. so funny. <laughs> Not side effects of anything they gave you. Okay. You like he like looks around the room as if there's some as if there's some hidden nurse in the corner. <laughs> you you gave me just a little. Really? Well John, they said that you might not make it. Alright, well I feel good now. I'm a little nervous on how long that's gonna last. Okay. 
and what things are going to be like after that. All right, so take it easy. All right, so what's the plan when I don't have to take it easy anymore? I've got a lot of work to do. Anna uh, and her friends have been getting awfully frisky. They haven't been showing us a lot of respect. We hit the diner's club? I think they've abused their privileges there. I think we can make it very difficult for them to stay open. See, if this was any kind of a normal situation, I'd say health code, but we'll figure something out. Well, I mean, we could always pull some strings and make sure an inspector shows up at noon. See, I like that you're engaging in the problem. No, no, like what I'm thinking is if we have a scheduled inspection at noon, mm -hmm. they're going to have to send whoever they trust for their daylight activities. And then we'll have a name. That's what I like about your plan there. Because whoever they send there, that's part of their daytime staff. Exactly. We can get names, we can addresses. We get addresses, we know where they live, we know where they live, we and can we track down Anna Roma. We just keep pulling that ball of yarn until that sweater is gone. Alright. Fine. We'll handle it your way. Sounds good. But in the meantime, you probably should still be here for a couple more days. I'll rest. I'll do what I need to do. But we might have to see if we can get you to a different floor, because doc Dr. Prick, MD, doesn't exactly trust me. And he might want to run some tests that we don't want to run. Do you think like, it picks up anything? John, I wouldn't know. All right. Yeah, whatever we need to do, maybe we try to a lot of different. There's a lot of different ways we could do this. Different we could hospital ambulance maybe? you to a hospital closer to your relatives. Yeah, that's nice and easy. They're not going to come after me again, are they? You think? I'm in the Benison, so if they, so I think if they come for anybody, they're going to they're going to come for me first. You can I'm count mm -hmm. enter. I uh, I knock on the door. Ugh. Who's oh. this? Oh, go Valentino, ahead. right? Yes. Yeah. Valentino Piznov. Okay. Family member. He's sure because we have such a resemblance. Distant cousin. Okay. He's a cousin. He's a made man from a different branch. Okay. And I believe he's. <coughs> Volunteer, old man. Yes, I'm old. Hey, I am old. <laughs> I believe he's volunteered his services to help us out with our situation. What services? What you need? You've got the floor, I think. Uh, anything? Pretty much. What do you need? Right now, say, if you want, you know, if you don't want to go back to the hotel, my place is full open for your entire family if you need to be. Well, right now, what we need more than anything else is information. I do have eyes on the Benson, mm -hmm. the top, the Shanghai tunnels, mm -hmm. and the uh, Ecstasy Settlement. Mm -hmm. Ecstasy. They're connected to the. No, I did not know that. Almost everything in the, in the entire city is connected through those tunnels. Interesting. Probably has some possibilities. I don't know if you know of your flooding disorders. I had heard that before the most recent news. Mm. Oh, uh, I catch him up on speed on what happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what exactly did happen? Cell uh, wasn't compliant. And it's insane. 
fails to surprise me. And insulted somebody more than once. That also is not a great shot. Mm. And apparently, for what I saw, surprisingly, that I hand cam to the back of the head. Hand cam. Putinesca, what's his name? Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Lauren, yeah. Oh, get this. Out of nowhere. I think it was a sunny red. This one was. Hmm. Picked apart and dragged in different directions. I don't even know how that shit happened. Shredded. Okay. Every single piece just went into the sewer. Here's a guy in a white coat and a curly black hair wearing glasses. Come to check on the patient. Have I, have I seen this guy? Nope. I'm weighing him up immediately. Okay. Because I mistrust in this moment. A great Understood. Deal. Insight plus. Probably wits. Wits plus insight. What exactly are you trying to find out? Mm-hmm. What does this person? Does this person actually work here? And what are his intentions? Okay. Two, three. Will yes. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's a very nice idea. I like that idea. We're going with that idea. Okay, which I had to one more. Okay. Four six. Four, four six. Goes. Um he is walking with the confidence of somebody who is meant to be here. Okay. He does seem to be he does seem to have some type of legitimate interest of the of uh, of John's condition. Okay. So Seems like he's actually on staff. He seems like he's on the up and up, but he also doesn't seem 100% on the up and up. Mm. He walks in, he says, I'm uh, Dr. Porter. Hi, Dr. <laughs> Porter. So, we're very grateful for the excellent care that, that you guys have been providing you. Yeah, I'm sure you are. He pulls out a pen light and he's like going in for the, you know, checking for dilation. He's actually, I'm a, I'm actually more here for psychological reasons, not for physical reasons. I heard you had a, lost a large uh, amount of blood. John just kind of nods. It's like, you seem to be feeling fine. I'm You're giving uh, John the shut up look. Yeah. He looks at you kind of nervous. You give him the shut up look. Mm-hmm. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be uh, up and going. Your color's coming back. Lost a lot of blood. Uh, luckily, you're kind of a common case variety when it comes to our storage of, uh, I don't know, refill packs, I guess we'll put it that way. Uh, he's like checking, got the tongue depressor out, checking the back <laughs> of his throat with a flashlight, like go full on every orifice in this guy's head. He's checking for it. He checks around his neck, he checks his wrists. Um, he checks uh, his femoral artery mm-hmm. along his thigh, like any major blood ways. He's like, yeah, you have a little bit of a collapsing right here. Does that hurt? And he like taps him pretty hard. He's a little discomfort. He's like, That'll uh, once you get more inflated, you'll uh, you'll be feeling a little bit better. Uh, yeah. Lean forward, please. And he like pushes him like by the neck and. Moves the hospital gown out of the way, and he starts like pushing down pretty hard on his on his spine. You guys might want to be careful what you talk about here. There's a lot of people with aspects who can hear everything they fucking say. Just to let you know. So uh, he walks over and he shuts the door. Roma did this, from what I understand. Roma didn't do this. I'm sure Roma ex- like order did. I'm sure, I'm sure she didn't do. I'm it. sure Roma did the dance, but Roma didn't do the attack. This is thaumaturgical. 
Tremere. Tremere did this. I know just the chap. It's probably Gore. Tremere. He's a psycho. No blend the wind. That's coming from me. Well, Mr. Porter, what can you tell me about Gore? Gore, he's not from around here. I really don't know him that well. But, uh, grandson? Where would, where would we start finding hey, out? Finding the people hey. who might know a little more. That's really hard to say. Because usually I would say go to the Elysium, check some stuff out. Because it's fair ground. Anybody can go there. But they're actively attacking you guys. As the only member of the Primogen Council who's going to willingly talk to you, I want you to understand that this is not the Camarilla attacking you. This is individuals attacking you. And I understand that's hard to believe, but... If nothing else, I'm aware information has a price. So, yes, individuals then. Listen, <clears throat> I have stake in this city. I don't want to see this erupt into some kind of ridiculous, crazy shit. And the stuff that's happening right now in New Orleans, it, that's crazy. That's some crazy shit that we don't want bleeding out into the rest of the city. I'm probably, I have not decided yet, going to be going away as well when everything's said and done. But I have business here, and I'm not going to give up on my business here. Okay, so keeping things copacetic between the clans is important to me. And... and which clans would we be keeping things copacetic between? The Giovanni. We do not need to fight with them. Not interested in that. The Camarilla is leaving, but there's going to be people who have interest in the Camarilla who are staying. I don't think Anaroma is planning on leaving. And if Actually, she's, I think I, I think I know the answer to my question already. Okay. What? You're a Tremere. I'm a Tremere. <laughs> no. No. I am the Malkavian primogen of Portland. Malkavian. Porter. Where have I heard that last name before? You probably know my mom. Jolana Porter. Or? Oh, you actually know my mom. Yes, Jolana <laughs> Porter is my mother. Huh. I'll be damned. Okay. And it's important to know who's involved and who isn't in yeah. those sorts of things. Okay. We've sat down and discussed what's the information that we've gotten. And the majority of the Primogen Council has no want for any of this. So I understand that you are new to the night. I understand you've been around for a couple of years. I've seen you once or twice in Elysium. Mm. Who do I need to talk to about this? And if you tell me Mother Anya, I'm going to ask you to pull the other one. Because she's not in charge of shit. And no one can convince me otherwise. I don't think I've ever... Um... Mm. I don't think I've seen some other Anya person. I've heard about her, but... Out of character. She was at the dinner. Yeah, I know. You don't oh. need to know that. <laughs> if you're asking to arrange a meeting where you can say your piece, I think we could probably have that happen. Ooh, not my piece. The Camarilla hmm. needs to have open conversation and it can be it can be the kind of thing where a representative of the Camarilla gets sent in to a group of Giovanni that's fine we don't care we're not going in to fight we need to get the promise back in order the promise needs to be kept I agree with that entirely in principle after a certain degree of squaring of accounts has occurred. What do you know about Clan Malkavia? About as much as any person would, I think. Okay. We see things. Okay? And I know something's going to happen. 
I know something big is going to happen. And I'm talking Night of the Living Dead style going to happen. I can't let that happen. I've seen what's going to happen, and I need to prevent it. So what can we do to get the promise back on order? Square up for what's happened. What does that mean? I don't know what's happened. I don't... I understand the Anaroma attacked your grandson, and I'm sorry for it, and I'm assuming that uh, you had some kind of accident, and I'm going to blame her on that as well. Anaroma Gore. He starts sniffing the air around you like a dog trying to get a sandwich. Anaroma Gore. You're, you're thin. You're thin blood. Yeah. May I continue? I have yeah, no, no, it was just a shock. I didn't expect it. Anaroma, Gore, Rhino, and Monroth. They attacked him, his grandson, and a newborn. I was uh I was I was all up to date until you said Monroth and then I kinda went somewhere else. Monroth is attacking people? Apparently. That's interesting. Okay. In our district, just a little inflammatory. Agreed. This might be a little higher than I thought it might be. What about what what if what if what if our leaders meet up? A representative of of Do you have three leaders? I see three faces. You were saying. He seems to be getting more and more agitated as he's talking to you. He's starting to stutter more. His arms are, his hands are becoming a little bit more erratic. Your, your clan heads, your three clan heads that the clan, you the faces of the three <laughs> he turns around and punches a hole in the wall <laughs> he just explodes into the wall just puts his fist right through it it was inches from an oxygen tank that, that would be bad that would be very bad he you see Jaws he <laughs> Pulls his fist back out, and there's shards of bone sticking out, and you can watch it file back into place as he's healing it. The th I'm gonna reach my good leg out and kick Moses. <laughs> he's not already awake. Moses is awake, and he's watching this, and he looks like he's about to shoot his pants. This <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool shit. Okay. <laughs> Dropping numbers. Our leaders need to meet up. Your representation, our representation. Billy Smith needs to meet with you. While he is still Prince, it needs to be taken care of and ironed out. I don't know how long he's going to be here, so it needs to be soon. Very, very soon. I don't know if this is going to have to be one meeting or three meetings. I don't fully comprehend everything that is happening on your end, and I'm not exactly... He's eyeing the blood bag that's hooked up to John right now. He's talking to you. He's having a conversation with the bag. Porter. What? Maybe you should take my card and go meet with your people and have that happen. He reaches out and snatches it, crumpling it as he grabs it. He just looks over at John. Orange juice and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Out the door, slams it. I think he says he needs some orange juice. The kid needs some orange juice. 
I mean, it's a good vitamin C. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you got one of those phones that tats. You've got a phone that tats. Got the fancy camera and, and such, right? Was I supposed to be filming that? No. Okay. <laughs> Take a picture, you know, I think you were doing exactly what you were supposed to be doing. Keeping quiet and being ready to respond if that went anywhere. I was just trying not to be noticed. Okay. Well, Moses, next time, I didn't say if, I said next time something like that happens, you do exactly what you did there, but you get your hand on your gun. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Will do. Now take a picture of the wall because we're going to need to transfer John to a different hospital after the incident that had occurred over here. Okay. Takes a picture of the wall. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> those of you who remained in. Top hat. Yeah. Um. So, Valentina. Said Whistler left the door open. They have some interesting characters, don't they? She's Uh, going to look down the stairs. Like, it seems almost like an invitation. Uh, Okay. Wall punching. She's fully aware she maybe isn't supposed to go down there. So, it's more of the. Uh, She's going to stick her head around the corner. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Uh, It's a very simple stairway that leads down into a basement. They may do that as forward. Um, Very old basement. Actually, kind of looks like the modern building may have been built on top of an older basement. This root cellar? Yeah. (laughs) Almost type thing. Um. I'm the tree and here. he's down Here's there the like the against the wall on his knees at, at an altar Somebody's one performing a ritual. Don't blame the weapon. Blame do you, the what you ceremonies do you have? I have do, 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 do. summon spirit, compel spirit, and host spirit. We, okay, cool. I could argue You've actually not change. seen this. But the main he is definitely footed at a, by a certain party. And he is, I think, steeping the ring, which he has tied really, to really, really, really a leather strap, problem go almost like a pendulum. They're willing mm-hmm. to stick someone's head on a spike. He's an steeping it in well, I a, that a that small that silver cup of blood. To be a little more polite the silver cup of blood so the main is we actually have the right to sitting us. on top well, of right. the, the driver's license. So. And every time he steeps in, it seems like the blood gets higher and higher and higher until it just overflows. When he finishes, there's no blood. It's like everything's been absorbed into the surrounding area. And he then takes the ruby ring, unties the string from it, and he takes the license, and he puts it inside of a small wooden box grabs this large rusted iron cauldron with a trowel sticking out of it and scoops a couple of scoops of soil closes it and he takes the box and he puts it on the shelf among many other boxes okay he puts it up there as if it's a book yeah fair she's just watching him do all this. He'll blow out the candle and he notices you're in the room (laughs) and binding the spirit. And making sure that Salvador is not going anywhere or able to work against us in any fashion. That makes sense. Just not seen it done before. I can teach you if you're interested. And he'll start heading back upstairs. Oh, and back up. Like I said, she's just kind of a little shell shocked over the first oh, everything. And you yeah. <laughs> Whistler's gonna get a text. Okay. Uh, it says uh, there's been some development, uh, but we need you here and send the address of the hospital. There's a lot of screaming and profanity coming from that box. Stop it! Get me the hell out of here, damn it! He can 
stay in there. <laughs> what Whistler did is he bound Salvador to the ring, and then this is not in the box. Or yeah. Not in, this is not in the book. Not in the book. Um, he encased him in grave dirt, forcing the wraith into the ring. <laughs> And keeping him Eek stuck. In there. Little, little that place. is not an active ritual yeah. in this book. No. Nope. <laughs> it does not exist. I made it up just now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm classic laying a ghost. <laughs> These are rituals that will be available in Portland by now. <laughs> <laughs> what about. Um, there we go. Levi. Any. I mean, I got back to the place, I guess. I don't know if I encounter anyone. Or not. I, I mean, your friend's there. Okay. Then I assume I probably would know that some things happen because he may have keyed me into watching the news or something. Oh, yes. Yeah, like I said before, yeah. when you arrive there, the news will be on. Yeah. So. What the hell happened? Do you know? Were you there? I... <laughs> That would explain what I was driving up into. Uh, no. I don't know what happened. I saw all those flashing lights and nope the fuck out. I didn't need to be caught up in that. Did you need to be caught up in that? No. Okay. Good on you. So, okay. <laughs> I thought coming back here was prudent. Lorenzo. Yes. You arrive at the car lot. <sighs> Actually. It's eerie. Car <laughs> it's eerie. It's quiet. Uh, it's late. So. And Sal's not here, so of course it's quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you hear, you do see a couple here. people hanging out by the garage. A couple of Sal's workers. Okay. The lights on in the office. Now, are these workers just random people he hired, or are they family, or what do I know? Family. About? Their family. He only works with family. Okay, so they're putting us together. And that doesn't mean they know what's going on. Okay. You um, also know that he's a loudmouth, so there's really no telling what. There's no are. telling how much they know, which is why I, I'm going to talk to Janet, who I know is in the know, okay. before I talk to anyone else. So I'm going to go ahead and head on into the trailer. Okay. Uh, She's sitting there. Anyone here other than just us? Uh, a couple boys in the garage. All right. Um, so we need to talk. Okay, we're talking. What's so, wrong? Uh, Is Tommy okay? I haven't checked in on Tommy recently. Not yet. Okay. I promise I will. So what's this about? It's about Sal. Joy, my favorite subject. <laughs> no. It will be. You're no longer under his employment. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Because he's dead. She was taking a sip of coffee. <laughs> She's going to spit it all over her computer. What? <laughs> What do you mean he's dead? He's dead. Meaning he pissed off some family members. He slipped on Brett. He wouldn't cancel some deals that were not in the family's favor. And all he would talk about was money and how much he was making. Okay. So... What happened? Well, how much do you know about my... How much do you know about the night of the Super Bowl party? I know well, Sal's got a big mouth. What, when that, like, that old European uncle came over? Yeah. Um, not much. Not much. I know he hired you to, like, make him feel at home. That's about it. Yeah, there was a lot more to that. 
but uh anyways um well sal like i said he got into arguments with several members of the family threw some slurs around and uh when it came evident he was not going to uh set things right i uh you uh what i sent him off she gets up out of her chair and walks over and sits down in another chair. <laughs> Just like as a nervous tick. So, you killed Sal? I killed Sal. The dude was a prick. He was a worthless waste of space to begin with. What what does this mean for me? It means you're no longer under his employment. You're going to be treated better while you're here. In fact, I actually do need you. You know more about what was going on here than I do. She blushes when you say that. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm happy to <laughs> Things are going to change, and it's going to be for the better. I need to go... I need to find out what contracts Sal actively had going on with certain members of the city. I need to find out what needs to be canceled. And uh, we need to get the paperwork to make it look like I own this place flat off. So she gets running. back up and goes over to her computer and cracks her fingers and goes, that's what milliners do. And she, <laughs> All right, she awesome. just starts typing at a million miles an hour. Did Sal have a password on his office computer? Yeah, but I can probably break it. Okay. It's going to be something like dumbass or oh, yeah. cigar or... I'm sure. Oh, that was my or, so Before no, I do no. anything, I want to find that bo- every cigar he fucking had in here and get rid of him. Oh, thank God. And air the place out. (laughs) We'll hire a professional cleaning crew. Sounds great. So I also need to find out who was involved in making those special cars so we can keep production of those going. Yeah, I'm sure I've got all the information here. We got everything to keep business going as usual? I keep this business going. Okay. Never mess with the secretary. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, because you know everything Just, um, that's going on. Give me a couple days and I'll break all of his passwords. I have talked to uh, Paul a little bit. Oh, how's he doing? He's pissed, but we know who did it. We know who did it to him. And we're going after her. Her? Her. You ever heard of Anna Rose? Out of character, no. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, should Anna Roma? Roma. Uh, Anna Roma. Uh, no, I haven't. She owns several antique houses in town. She's just still on her computer and she's now looking up Anna Roma. Uh, she also owns a, a business. Um, I'm sorry, what was that one called? The uh, Penny Diners the, the, Club. The Penny Diners Club. Mm, is it under a fake name? Probably. Because it says, it says she doesn't own it. Kendrick Ran. Uh, no doubt in that. It says some kid named John Barnes owns it. Mm-hmm. Well, at least she's the... Uh, Cute kid. She's the main person that seems to be running the place. Um, yeah. There was her... Another person that calls himself Rhino. Well, good for him. Good for him. <laughs> and uh, I think they said one other person. I cannot remember his name, though. But... Uh, yeah, the three people jumped him and uh, Tommy and uh, 
<laughs> makes it sound like they, they would have taken three people. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're gonna because they're gonna get what's coming to them. Good. Whatever I can do to help, let me know. <laughs> I've offered the full services of the Putinesca family to them. Very slightly. Okay. Advanced. Let me know if there's anything that you need. Will do, boss. You can, for the time being, add a uh, four-point retainer to your sheet. Thank you. <laughs> Who has... Um, she's, I, I'm pretty sure she's like... I'm pretty sure she's actually a three-point in efficiency and a, and a three-point in reliability. That's an ally. Is it just yeah, allies? allies? Retainers, it's a whole it's a whole different scale. It's never made sense. Allies is a terrible, terrible, terrible investment by points compared to good retainers. <laughs> oh, that's what I've got. <laughs> right. um, a retainer does everything an ally does, but you don't have to pay for reliability. It's always at maximum. It's, now, it's an oversight on the rules. Well, the idea of an ally is that they're not a ghoul. A retainer is effectively considered a ghoul. So yeah, actually, she would be an ally. Sorry, she would yeah. not be a ghoul unless you're ghouling her. <coughs> well, I mean, she already knows this much. I'll, I'll give her the option if she wants some of our abilities. I'm good for right now. Let me know if you ever change that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Haney. So. I know. There's a lot of shit I need to do tonight. Sorry. <laughs> so, a wraith is trying to get your attention. She will look up, put her pieces to the side. It's actually interesting. I don't think you have any way of you don't have any way of actually speaking to them, do you? I you just see that, them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it covers You can that. just see them. So, various books start getting pulled out of your bookshelves. There's a wraith who is pulling books out. Just having them come out, not dropping them on the floor or anything, just pulling them out. That's a nice read. Yeah, Pulling them out. On the table. Okay. Um, the very first one is a book called The Gate. The second one is called Unexpected Visitors. I guess those are the only two Unexpected Visitors and The Gate. Okay. Is there more to this message? Or is that the best that we got? She will it starts. flip open the Ouija board and set it down. <laughs> <laughs> Spell some stuff out, it's helpful. The little planchette starts moving around as it pushes it. It doesn't touch it. It just pushes it with its mind. <laughs> with its mind. With its brain. <laughs> Brain. Brain is physical. I know. Mind is not. It says, it spells out <laughs> someone wishes to oh. speak. Why <laughs> owe you? Oh, frick. <laughs> okay. Well, here I am. Show me where we're going. It starts going towards the front door. Mm -hmm. So grab her bag on the way out. Mm -hmm. it waits for you to open it and then goes out. Do I need to lock this? So kind of look at whoever else is in the room. There's no one else here. No Most of them have been put to work, guarding the streets and stuff. It's probably fine. By this point in time, the mess has been cleaned up. Good. Apparently, a body had been found, stuffed oh. inside of one of the sewer. That reminds me. Drains. <laughs> turn back in and get a garbage bag take the clothes that were covered in some salve, stick them in the trash bag, twist it up, and then 
walk back out. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Okay. They walk you to the entry point of the New Orleans district. It's quite a walk, but amongst the other wraiths in the street, you uh, you eventually come to the gates where the cars can't pass. Okay. Um, the gates aren't closed, they're open. This is just where the wraiths are set to guard. Right. <clears throat> and standing outside of the gates is a woman who's uh, she's wearing very large, probably too big for her, combat boots. She's wearing dull, like worn, threadbare camo pants. Uh, except the camo is like a bunch of little skulls. Okay. Uh, she's wearing a. Yeah, kind of like those pants. Uh, but it's camo. But it's, but it's camo. Um, like different colors of skulls like interweaving to create the pattern um, and a old dirty stained wife beater and I'm using Kat Dennings I'm not sure. as this NPC oh okay yeah except she's got dark Jane's friend yes yeah, she's time. got dark uh, she's got dark circles around her eyes she, her face is a little sunken in She's obviously not human. Yeah, I was gonna say, is she breathing? If I kind of doesn't look like it. All right. I mean, it's summer, so it's not like you'd see breath or anything like that. But but she is physically there. She's there. Uh, there's also a rather <coughs> battered jeep where you can kind of make out the silhouettes of like three other people just sitting there. But she's just standing there with a rolled up piece of paper. Walk up. I didn't think anybody was actually going to show. It takes them a while to be able to communicate. Yeah, no, I know. Help you? Um, you guys are having issues that I'm aware of. And we decided... You can tell, like, she's having a hard time getting the sentence out to assist in the way that we possibly can. And she holds out the rolled up piece of, like, parchment paper and hands it over. But she doesn't go within three feet of that gate. When you say we decided to assist, we decided, and she points over to the chief. The board here. Mm -hmm. Act like a separate entity. Just I mean, board. sure. Look it over. Um, it's a necromantic ceremony that you've never seen before. It's written in blood on this hand-pressed, homemade paper. I thought it was parchment, but when you get your hands on it, it feels more like fabric. Mm -hmm. No, like fabric. Okay. It's, it's, this is what happens when you take old paper and like ah. saturate it and turn it into pulp and then repress it. Rag paper. Yeah. So it kind of has okay. this like washcloth feel to it. So carefully roll it back up. Did y'all want the original back? It's not the original. Oh, well then, that's no right. You can have it. Thank you, I think. It should help. <laughs> it's my first time doing this kind of exchange of we like hey, you know, we wanna signal or <laughs> We wanna fuck over McCarthy. Oh. Well, that should fuck over McCarthy. 
Oh god, I know who this is. Alright. Alright. All right. Like, the ginger fuck man needs to leave. And you guys have a better chance of being able to accomplish that than we do. So, how about? Because, like, the way we would do it would go, like, draw attention, and we're just not interested in doing that at all. Stay out of tunnels for a minute. Hmm? Stay out of tunnels for a minute. I'm not a sewer girl. Oh. All of your friends. Oh. First off, none of them are going in the sewer either. Like, I don't want to go in there because I know what's down there. They don't want to go in there because they're prissy little bitches and they don't want to get their shoes dirty. So, yeah. No, you guys do what you're doing. That just might give you the upper hand. And you guys win. We all win. And that's really all I care about. Okay, I can get behind that hole. You say it there. Make sure it's painful. I'll do my best. Thank you. Oh, no worries. My pleasure. Turn. Also, have any of you guys talked to the homeless? Well, I mean, I kind of do in the evenings, but... No, no, like, have you guys talked to the people who are quote-unquote missing. Like, the families of the people who are quote-unquote missing. I have a personal Because, like, they're being reported, but, like, there's legal papers on why they're not being assigned as missing. Interesting. Okay. We'll look at it. Pretty sure I know where they are, but didn't realize there were any actual reports being fussed with. That's kind of a different It's not really many. I'll make sure it gets where it has to go. There is also a kindred working in the police uh, uh, police office, so be careful with that. Yeah, usually. You want to toss a girl a name or a description, if you know. Just oh, random. um, little venture guy, uh, name is Mason, works in the police station. I know that name. Okay. All right, cool. Cool? Yeah, very cool. Cool. She'll just turn around and start walking back over to her Jeep. She will turn, believe it or not, head back over to Top Hat to see you there. Yeah, I'll be there. Anybody still there? At this stage, Dan doesn't know what else to be doing. She's kind of just following Whistler around like a duckling. Okay. <laughs> when you walk in, and that god-awful dragon's breath goes, <laughs> um, Whistler and Daniela are probably standing at the front desk, and Whistler is explaining binding spirit to Daniela. This is adorable. We have mail. We have mail. Mail? From who? A friend of my enemies, my friend. Whistler. Doesn't narrow it down. Takes the paper from you and actually smells it. And uh, unrolls it carefully because he feels like it looks like it's going to come apart. Dan is definitely trying to read over his shoulder. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Man, dropped off by... It's written in English. Four concerned citizens, they said. Four concerned citizens. MacArthur doesn't have a lot of fans out there, as it turns out. At the very top, it says, Mending the Shroud. Well, that's useful. This may be something to give to Valentina. Okay. This might be something for all of us That's eventually. Why don't we make some copies and then spread it? Or spread the love. Spread the love. Uh, side note: They also mentioned what well, we're inquiring about fellows who have gone missing. We all know where they are. We think we do. 
But people are making reports, and the reports are getting fudged. You know, they were just wondering if we talked to any of the people that went missing. And wanted to give us a friendly reminder that a fellow named Mason, who's a venture, works for the police station. Should we poke around or anything? Mm -hmm. Mason is a Camarilla, but his sire is Anarch. I don't know why the name sounds familiar. Maybe he's just been here a while. Hmm. He's done some work here in the past. Like, not in the store, but in the New Orleans district. He, he was the representative of the police department who came and worked here. Is it likely that he's the one who's making sure these missing persons reports don't really get solved? That doesn't sound very much like Mason, but he may have answers. Well, I don't know about you. Well, this has been a very full evening for me. I agree. I think I'm going to retire back to the shop. I'm still puzzling over why they're building there in the first place. Why build this in a place where they know it's going to cause casualties? Does he? Sal seemed dead set determined that he did not know anything that was going on there. Um. At least on the Shadowlands side. Why would he build in that location? Because he owns the property. All this about the, with the zombies that are helping build it I think the area might need to be looked at. And I know some of the things that Monroff said, uh, Camarilla have a lot riding on it. They didn't want us messing anything up. I think we may need to plan a field trip. to go and actually look at the property. A little bit of breaking and entering. I can give you almost down to the minute McCarthy's exact routine so we can go whether he's there or not based on what you all want to do. should probably go when he's not there. Mm. Have him under surveillance for a little bit. And when um, the workers might be a problem too. Not I'm not 100% worried about actually going to the construction site, but what's left of Olympic City. Yes. We need to check that out and also see if there's anything under it. Tunnels or shadow lines? The Anarchs explained to us not long after the facility blew up that there were there was an un, there was a base underground that cert was using that base as an Sorry. operation hub i don't know how much mccarthy knows about that so you think part of this may be to get after whatever's down there possibly I'm just trying to also continuing trying to square it. Camarilla, zombies, zombie research. Where all this is going, because it's not an efficient way to get a bunch of zombies. No, it's not. Like, McCarthy's an asshole, but he's not stupid. He has to know that whatever's down there is worth all this risk. I mean, you'd have to be mixing it up for each individ individual pharmaceutical 
zombie. It's not like Walking Dead. Well, it's also a very misleading word. We're talking about people who have their higher functions turned off. That's all. Yeah, they're not like... It's not like what we have in the sewers at the moment. Yeah, they're not biting people. She's <laughs> cute. What? No. <laughs> you just have a lot to learn. I... Little less the ones in the sewers are biting people. I was talking about the ones that's at the... That's what they're there for. Exactly. The, the <laughs> ones at the build site aren't biting Imagine people. Imagine them that's as walking mousetraps. <laughs> Nobody has filled in Dan about any of the other information that they found out what they're researching. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> you discussed that when you weren't there. Yes! <laughs> Because I watched the recap, but then, of course, it hasn't gotten a recap. I do have to call post. Yeah. I do know that you guys are trying to get Whistler to the hospital. Ooh. Well, the hospital's changing. We're, get, we're getting over to Providence because, obviously, this place is not safe with the wackos who come into rooms and punch holes in the walls. True. I let them know about the new hospital. We're transferring hospitals. All right. We may be coming up with a plan on how to handle some of these problems. And yes, I checked and made sure that was the closest hospital in Portland to the Voodoo Donut. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Is it in the New Orleans district? I, there's not exactly like a dotted line on the map. Okay. Yeah. Nice. nice. Providence. Good. Yeah, I don't know exactly where New the New Orleans. When is I get so home, I can district. cross check it with my that's freaking Providence. map I've got. <laughs> now I gotta figure out which one's actually New Orleans All right. district. Yeah, I don't actually know either. <laughs> I believe it's in the west of the city. You're gonna have to let us know where we live, friend. I did, however, learn about Eugene, Oregon, which is not too far <laughs> away from Portland, which is an abandoned city that's completely mm. radioactive. Oh, oh right? joy! I didn't that. <laughs> yeah. I just knew it was like a ghost town kind of thing. Yeah, it's a, of. it's a. I knew I knew that name for some reason. <laughs> it's a welcome to microwaving your testicles place. Yeah, place of a what was a nuclear meltdown or? Uh, it, it, they were out of leak and they never fixed it. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. But luckily, it's not one of those ever expanding leaks. It's I, just a. Well, this ground's fucked. I know, like, the, place. the town where the Silent Hill movies were filmed. Oh, Centralia. The the underground is a, a coal mine that's fire. been on fire for... Yeah, for, like, 200 years. Just, no, well, it's just what? the 60s. Yeah. Is it just the wow. 60s? Okay. Yeah, so I thought there was the one of them where, like, the... Coal that would be the mouth of hell in, um, somewhere in the Middle East. Yes. I remember which. Okay, that's probably what I'm thinking yeah. of then, yeah. It was a gas... Uh, natural oh. gas. They were drilling for um, petroleum, and they hit a natural gas pocket. And so, they, oh, they didn't use it at that time, so they just dropped a flare down there. Oh, I don't know if that. Oh, shit. Thinking no, to burn it off so they can get at the oil underneath. It's so yeah, cool. it's still burning. <laughs> well, out. I can stop it. But yeah, with the other town, it was a it was a coal mining town, and it caught fire. Yeah, no, it's kind of like Fulton doesn't actually exist. At one point, the fire department did have it under control. But then the sparks reignited it, and they couldn't get it back under control after that. Well, thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm sorry this went longer than it typically does. Love well, you. Get uh, the fuck out. <laughs> I think it's important for you to I'm know quickly becoming that there's also a Nola Donuts. Huh? There's also a Nola Donuts. Character sheet. Okay. Not very far from Voodoo Donut. Okay. That's all. That's Willow! She can't help but she's an angle. Hey, you're very pretty, but your looks are only getting you so far. Cookies. Stop digging for cookies on the couch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, I know. That boy stopped holding me. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting with him was like cookies. That's creepy. Yeah. Willow's creepy. You just made it uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. She is. Ah. So he killed Sal. <laughs> Dude, I did not expect it to go like that. I really did not. I killed him all over my character's outfit. 
<sighs> yeah, you you it really went from dark just took secret care of to red. Maybe next time you decide <laughs> to, to face red. Dude. <laughs> Don't do it on my clothes. Dude. So this was, this is how I operate. I did the same Dude. shit the night I was embraced. He never expected you to do it to him. Well, that's that's, that's always the way. Okay, what the shit? I think there are way too many be. entries on the internet on, of like, should I go to New Orleans or Portland? <laughs> New Orleans what should do on my Portland. trip between New Orleans and Portland? Uh, Sorry, New I said Orleans I will. I will Portland. look up yeah. my map of New of Portland neighborhoods uh, when I get home. Ten, not a, because I have spent well, way too long well, staring at that so freaking so map. Now I've got two characters in game that only um, the Carlisle. I'm missing a number dice. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There. Now you own two. You're your own competitor. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that. I'm like, Gwen, do you have like a, a light? secret goal to it's own a child? Yes, yeah, it's Gwen's aspiration. <sighs> and owning oh, a car thingy. All I'm going to say is that Far from Dan, My aspiration I have all kinds of theories having heard the all the pieces. Anybody. That they're no. researching into. <laughs> I'm just kind of going, we're looking at a literal zombie apocalypse here, people. We're talking mad cow disease. We're talking about a virus that nobody has any resistances to because it's too old. It's going to spread like freaking wildfire, which means everybody's going to get it. Everybody's going to be bitey, rabid sort of stuff, and I everybody's going to be zombies. We're looking at literal true. zombie apocalypse <laughs> via pharmaceutical means. You. Have you never seen the umbrella corporation sort of district. stuff? This is what we're looking at. Anywhere in that district. <laughs> Good for you. Have you seen what? the new oh, Resident Evil? No, I have not. I don't know okay. anything Resident Evil. Anything. <laughs> it was good and it was yeah, canceled. Yeah, because it's not important. We got one the season of it? that it wonderful was, yeah. story and it was no, canceled. I, I heard that the, the Umbrella Easy. Corporation That's was spreading the T-virus through ADHD meds. Depression meds. how scary that would be? Depression meds. I guess maybe it was in one of the Resident Evil games they were talking yeah, about. In it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drug called Joy. That was engineered for children who suffer from depression. I think they would have done better with ADHD meds <laughs> considering half the country's on it. Yeah, but like everybody's on fucking depression meds too. That's true. Anyway. Yes, um, I do have to call it. We gotta go. Okay. Thank you guys for coming. It was fun. Happy birthday, Dave. <laughs> yes. <you>. Woo! <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> We try to find an address to the freaking. I expected some kind of fight with Sal. I really did, but like, you're lucky. Like it's seriously, not how he works, man. <laughs> you're you're lucky that Lorenzo. you did it like that. Because if there had come to like blows, man, Sal is. Oh, blown. I know. <laughs> like Lorenzo believes in having a, a quick fight where it's two hits. One he hits you, then you hit the ground. Yes, <laughs> Sal had. Sal had. Five points in potence. Jesus. Ugh. So I had no, no, no. Or, uh, one point in oblivion. Huh. No ceremonies. Shit. He's not patient enough for it. Uh, he can ashes to ashes. Tracks. He can get rid of bodies. That's about it. Uh, I imagine that's probably the only thing he ever taught um, me. As far as the um, game goes. Sorry, no, he had two. Because he could also compel wraiths. Mm -hmm. He did have compel wraiths. Um... And then he also um, he had two points in fortitude, and uh, and like four in dominate. I think he's pretty fucking scary. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to mm -hmm. fight him. Yeah, I I, I I like the fight where I can. I saw what you were doing, and I was just like, "There's no reason Sal would think." Like, he would actually, like, if somebody... Well, that's why I was waiting until he was running, if, arguing with somebody if, else doing what Sal right. does. If somebody had walked up and went, Lorenzo's gonna shoot you in the back of the head, the first thing out of his mind would, Lorenzo's not that fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, I was wrong. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm really surprised that Sunny took off like that. I'm not. I'd be out of there too. Dude, Sunny Red's dead. That's crazy shit. Who's Sunny? Uh, wrong who's Sunny? Sunny, Sunny, Sunny Black. Damn it. Sunny Black. Sunny Black. God damn it. Dominic. That was like a third one. No, no. There's Sunny Red and Sunny Black. The one that counts is still around. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Now there's a reason why Dan's like, on this is looking like a fire. I'm gonna be stood over here. Oh, <laughs> I know. I need to tuck you in. Ready yeah. to run if well, needs be. The question though, have you heard my session zero yet? I haven't listened um, to it. I, no. I need so. to listen to it because I basically did the same thing to him <laughs> while I did to a member of the fourteen. Did you see what I called yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan of the Dead's last live stream. Uh, uh, I did see uh, that. Uh, I was trying to make it like uh, obvious that I was making a pun. Like, yeah. Live stream. <laughs> she can do as many dead streams as she wants. Okay, live yeah. It's, it's almost like cheating doing ghost hunting now, hey, though. Look, I'm almost, <laughs> almost kind of done. Take a fatter, throw it in front of Elvis the camera. Looks the All way right, that I did when I passed out for three days. Who was looking this way for a while? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, I reckon she's doing a lot more concentration on the history of the place. That is weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it's something else. Okay, so I I created Salvador Giovanni. Yeah. Okay. I created Salvador Giovanni. I think I played him once. I hope you washed your hands afterwards. He he wasn't like that. He was actually more of like a. Godfather meet you in the cemetery kind of, you know, yeah. mafioso type, but he was he was, yeah, he was polite but he was terrifying and then like, this one guy comes up to us, Tolga, who's like an old gamer, he's been playing for a long time, he goes do you have any NPCs I can play with? Uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, here, play Salvador Giovanni yeah, that's fine, so he comes walking into the Elysium going <laughs> <laughs> Oh he starts playing him like the old pervy grandpa, and he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm having the ghost. They grab the front of your pants and they just start pulling on it. And I'm like, God damn it! What am I supposed to do with that? Oh lord! I was like, I built him. This the answer game. is you keep it going. <laughs> he's like walking around. He's got a cane, and he's like, hey. it's like, oh Jesus! <laughs> He's the grandpa. You don't want to get stuck in the swimming pool with him because he's sitting behind the kids going, Dana! Dana! <laughs> he's he's, he's going to get you! He's Herbert the pervert if Herbert had more energy. Yes. The um, boogeyman. <laughs> That's all I can think of when he does that. He's like, I'm like I see so Sal, what are you doing? like the way Tolga was playing Sal, I just see him being that grandpa at Christmas going, you better be asleep before Santa gets here, the reindeer's gonna eat your pecker. Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's Sal when Tolga played him. He was just this dirty old man.